Welcome to the Simply 15. Sans Justin, he's still off exploring, what, mountains or something? <laughs> exploring new mountains. He's, he's climbing a mountain somewhere. He's, he's climbing a mountain somewhere <laughs> on, top of, on top of spaghetti. On top of old Smokey. He's on top of old Smokey. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's just DJ and I today doing this. We, we did something with, without Justin. Or maybe Justin and I did something without you a while back or anything. Motherfuckers. So now it's... No, revenge time, you revenge. fucking bitch. <laughs> um, so yeah, today we're talking about uh, the new, pretty much almost one-man show. I don't know why we decided to do this for Simply 15. I think we were really... I we're jonesing. Know, we're jonesing, yeah. And <laughs> I haven't seen what Guardians of the Galaxy and all the other shit. And you, I don't see the same stuff you do, so... We're talking about Will- Willem Dafoe in Inside... Peacock exclusive. This is how the, pe- the cock exclusive. The, the cock exclusive. <laughs> the penis cock exclusive. Uh, but you know, funny enough, one of the foe does not show his cock in this movie. He almost so, does. He does pee though. It does close. Oh yeah. Close. You, 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 when uh, yeah. Uh, spoiler: alert, He shits in a pool. I guess. What is it? He does a I lot think, of weird stuff in this yeah, house. Yeah, spoiler alert for the whole movie. We're gonna probably spoil a little bit of yeah. it, uh, so, so you know. So inside, it's been, out, it's been out a couple weeks. I feel okay. Okay. So, okay. You know what? It's it's one. Well, okay, we won't spoil it right away. But um, mm-hmm. what's what's your one word for uh, this one word movie called Inside? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's gotta be Defoe. Now, nah, now nah, I won't use Defoe. I'll use questions. This questions? movie left me asking a lot of questions. Good or Why bad was he, questions. What was he cutting his lip for? What made him jump back in the green hallway? Uh, the ending. All that to say <sighs> this is probably another award caliber performance for Willem Dafoe. I was, I was talking to somebody about it. I was like, if you like Willem Dafoe, this yeah, movie yeah. is full blown Willem Dafoe. This and every is time, Willem Dafoe on a crack. <laughs> Defoe is like he's he's in that realm where he's almost like fun like Jeff Goldblum, but he's like got the chops of a, like a, a seasoned fed actor. He's like right in the middle. So sometimes yeah. they'll like make you like, oh wow, that's good acting. And they'll make you laugh when he starts doing the goblin laugh accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> he, he does it in this movie where he's like he's like laying on the dirt and he starts doing the goblin laugh. I'm like, that's the goblin laugh. That's the goblin laugh. It's like <laughs> it's pretty much a best, it's like a best of all his movies rolled into one. It's like every yeah. Defoe <laughs> performance rolled into one performance it, it, it's such a it's a weird weird movie i don't know um my one word is, i don't even i don't even have a word for this you have questions mm. I, but i wish i could say answers but i don't have any answers for you you don't have any what was he cutting his lip for tell me i, I don't know i don't know what, what what really happened in this movie it's like the only thing you really know maybe what did happen in this movie is that he does well here's the plot he breaks into a really weird apartment penthouse apartment penthouse, yeah, in new york, new york i guess or something like that and he uh, is stealing art. He's an art thief, mm. and he gets locked in the house after a uh, alarm problem or something like that. I don't know malfunction. Nothing, I would a malfunction. Say. And it's yeah. like malfunction, malfunction. So <laughs> this 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 uh this movie is very like stimulating in a lot of ways because it's got a lot of weird. It's got a lot of noises, lights, weird shit going on. Mm. Willem Dafoe slowly going into main. It starts off real normal. Yeah, it slowly gets surreal as it as, as the movie gets yeah gets going. Yeah, uh, I want to know more about the actual guy who owns the apartment in, in the art. You don't really. Oh, he's in it for like five he's, seconds. He's in it, like you know, near the end. I guess when he starts going into his in, insanity, his mm. manic state, and everything like that, you kind of find. You don't really know anything about it. you don't know anything about Willem Dafoe except that he's an art thief and he's working with number three. Number, number three. three, come in, come in, number three, number three, number three, number three. Spider Man, Godspeed, number three. Godspeed, number three. Godspeed, number three. Number three. <laughs> number three's really pissed me off. Um, then you have uh, you know, refrigerators that play the Macarena. Yes, um, I, never th- I never thought I'd ever hear that song in a movie I know. as much. <laughs> Yeah, and, and <laughs> even the movie Macarena, I never thought I heard. It. I know, not at all. I don't. I don't know. I don't, like, why was this guy obsessed with, with the? Mo- I guess that's one way. It's like if you leave Makes your you refrigerator close the door, because it's annoying yeah, ass song. It's annoying as hell. Like my refrigerator does it at home, but it just gives you a little beep if you leave right. it open too. It's like a reminder, like, hey, what? 
you know, it's like when your mom says, don't leave the door open, don't refrigerate the whole house type right, thing. Right, don't, yeah. or you're not refrigerating the neighborhood. <laughs> don't refrigerate the house. Or you're going to hear the Macarena for forever. And you know, <laughs> it's like he's sucking the water out of the refrigerator. Yeah, like it's, he has no, like what the pool in the air, in the middle of the room, he, he, you can see him like drink it and go, like, what was wrong with that? Was it I don't salt water? know. I, I'm thinking it's salt water type okay. of thing. I, it's like, there's not really a lot of, ex- I mean, the only reason you would probably spit water out is if it was like salt water. Because this or, movie kind of reminded me, I mean, some people will say Cast Away or The Martian. I don't know if I you've ever seen. I was thinking All is Lost, I was, to, I was just about yeah. to say, have you seen the Robert Redford movie All is yes. Lost? Where this reminds you, me the most of that. Yeah. It's kind of like Buried, the Ryan Reynolds Buried movie meets All is Lost, where it's yeah. kind of like, in All is Lost, Robert Redford's on a boat and he never speaks, like, I think it says one word of dialogue. I think he talks movie. for the first time when he I think he says, fuck. I think it's the only line. Yeah, I think he, something <laughs> happens and he's like, fuck. <laughs> that's that's it. That's it. See, that's, everything else is just Robert Redford's like, hey, we're going to drop Robert Redford in the middle of the water. <laughs> We got Robert we, Redford here. We got Robert Redford here. We got a broken <laughs> boat here. Who's the guy? Who, the guy who directed all those laws wasn't the oh, guy. Oh, uh, uh, Con- I forget his name. But I know you're talking. J- about it's here. like JP. It was like JP, or it was like a yeah. initials, like AJ Condon or something like something that. Something like that. Yeah, there was yeah. a guy who did Disturbia, maybe or something like that. Oh, I thought. No, that's DJ Caruso. But I don't know. Maybe this is. Maybe it was DJ Caruso. I don't, I don't think DJ Caruso. Oh, says okay. that. we're talking about a different movie. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, but it's, we're talking about at least a movie that. It reminds us of that movie right. type, right, thing, right, so. right, right. Yeah, but it when I was watching, I'm like, damn, this is like all is lost because he starts trying to find his way out. He can't get out. You know, the the door's got metal on the other side. He's trying everything to get out. Uh, the windows don't break. It's soundproof. He meets a pigeon. <laughs> get help! Get help! <laughs> get help for me! Like, tell your friends in the tell park. Tell your friends about me. Tell Parker about yeah. me. <laughs> I, I, I like that he just starts talking to animals and right. being weird, and, and then he takes Self. all the other all the art and starts building a giant tower. He's like, "Oh, I'll go up through the skylight." Right. And then very resourceful. This well, well in Defoe, but he is an art thief. And then uh, he has that what great joke near the end of the movie. He was like, "Oh." Was a Hungarian joke or something? Yeah, like that. or yeah, yeah, the uh, chicken. <laughs> that again. Chicken. That again. <laughs> that goes yeah. on. That goes on for like ten. Minutes. It's, a, it's a lot of Willem Dafoe just being it's, weird and cool. Did you yeah. catch? Did you catch the Finding Nemo reference? Uh, yeah, there's the, two uh, of them. The, there's two of them. The 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 fish that he plays in Finding Nemo is it's, that's not the fish he eats though. But he uh, one of them fish. in the fish tank is the yeah. one that he played. One, one is yeah. like the black and white thing. He's like, ah, oh, Monarch shot. idol fish. I looked it up. Oh, look at that. I, <laughs> I did, did my like research that. here. I do my research. Yeah, there were and a lot had... of like, again, it's best of Willem Dafoe. It's like, let's have every single Willem Dafoe reference or something like that. I think his movie. name in the movie, though they don't say it, is actually also Nemo. I, I, it is review, Nemo, yeah. Yeah, every yeah. review I see is Nemo. So I, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny too. <laughs> I mean, it, it's the movie itself is... I don't know, it's like two hours long, mm-hmm. but it is just Willem Dafoe kind of drifting into kind of... It could be a play. This movie could be a play. I know. It's it's once once one set. You don't really leave. And uh, I don't know. It's it's a movie that I think will be not talked about after a month. <laughs> <laughs> you really think so? I don't think so. You think so. you get nominated I mean, for it? You think you get nominated for it? Maybe uh, like... <sighs> I mean, Golden Globe, maybe uh, something like small, not Oscar, right? Maybe something like you know, screen maybe actors, maybe like, like a that. Peabody Award or something. <laughs> or something. I don't know. He does pee. In, he does pee in a body of water. He does. He does pee in a body of water. He, <laughs> he pees in a body of water, and uh, he. Uh, I, I don't know. It's it's one of these. I liked him in it, and I like him showcasing just one of the foe. He's also got like a weird body and everything too. You know, he's got that old man body. Yes. Like when he's got no clothes on. Because he ate no, no, the other he's not, the, he's not on the goblin serum anymore. So no, he's, he's not. Of... He's not all. He's not all like <laughs> rollicked out or anything like that. He's literally he's a post goblin serum. Post goblin, like yeah, something like that. He's anti goblin. He looks like a goblin. He's got the body of a goblin, I guess. But uh, I, I you know, know you you always give me crap about this because I I don't me personally I don't like surreal like non answered endings. But yeah. I like this ending. You did. Okay. Whatever so way, should we kind of get into spoilers go, a little bit then? At yeah, the, whatever way you go, okay. it's spoilers. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Either he escaped and he's free or he died and he's free. Either way he's free. That's what I yeah. kind of got from the ending. Yeah. I, I mean, well, cool. he finally got through because like 
near the near the whole thing of the movie is that he finally finds his way out. He's unscrewing what the skylight. He right. he 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 keeps using his knife and all these other things to find screws and using the wooden legs as uh like a like a what, wrench. like a wrench and everything like that. That but near the end, like he basically falls off his tower that he built and like I guess breaks his leg. I guess yeah, um, yeah. I, 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 It seems like he, yeah, because he breaks his leg. But yeah, at the end, he's he keeps repeating the whole thing. I'm gonna go Hep- to the mountain. I'm going to heaven on a hillside. Is what he says. I'm over going to heaven over. on a hillside. I'm <laughs> going to... It's a lot of repeating, a lot of chanting, a lot of um, insanity. Insanity in in, in in this, and it's just one of these one one man shows that I don't know. There isn't a whole lot to talk about in this movie, no. except for Willem Dafoe being Willem Dafoe and being. being I never saw Florida Project, but I think this might be one of my favorite performances I've seen from him. That's because you get to see everything. Yeah. You get to see the charm. Yeah. You get to see the the weirdness. You see all of it. All in yeah, because at least near the end, where he starts really drifting away, he starts going like he has the thing where he's in the, and that whole thing too. I almost feel maybe in a way mm. that he knew the guy whose house he was robbing. Maybe that was a memory, or do you think that was? Oh, like a, I didn't think about. Was it a that. memory or was it a hallucination? I didn't of, think of, about that. Maybe that. that's how he knows that the art was there. Oh, I didn't that, think about maybe. that. Maybe I mean, there, there's a lot of un, like you said, questions. There's there's questions, there's there's, questions. There's, but there's not a lot of answers. You don't really know what happens or whether he was even in. Maybe he was. Maybe this house is a figment of his imagination or something like that. Who knows? Nobody really knows what's real and what's not. I don't. There know. is a little a segment of time before he gets the last screw off. And then he doesn't leave right away. Maybe he was also he, institutionalized a little bit where he, he maybe. waited to leave he, or whatever, do what he was going to do. Before, yeah, because yeah. he's writing, he's also writing his like manifesto. Well, it's like, it's like the same manifesto he says in the beginning of the movie where it's like, right. oh, when I was a kid, what was it? when I was a kid, what are the three things you would save from in a fire? Yeah, in a art, fire. Lasts, like, art, art lasts or everything else fades away. Yeah, art lasts, everything fades away. It's like, maybe that's just a metaphor for this whole movie. It's like, this movie will last, everything else will fade you away. You just said they'll forget about it in a day. I know, but like I'm, 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 go, I'm going back on it. It's like, well, you're going to have it on a hillside, Matthew. Yeah. I was, I was watching this on my couch, very relaxed, if, if, you, if you know what I mean. So, what? Okay. If that, if that helps. Um, but yeah, over, overall, I think it's, it's a it's a good movie. It just has that kind of two sides of the coin. It seems right. like you really liked it, though. I I, I dug it. I really I, yeah. I didn't want to do this movie. Then I started watching. <laughs> I from the word girl because I forgot how good Willem Dafoe is. I'm like, oh, that's you the know reason what? why I wanted to watch it. it was, yeah, he's Dafoe. taking me. Willem Dafoe's taking me on a ride. He's gonna keep me entertained. He entertains me. I thought it was a good movie, and he's excellent in it. So I, I'm glad I watched it. Yeah. Um. I think. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of kind of hard to say. It's like I like Willem Dafoe being Willem Dafoe, and I guess he's at a, a time in his career right now where he's just going to kind of do what he wants to do at this point. Yep, uh, yep. But then it's funny because I was going through his filmography uh, on what Letterboxd after I gave I think I gave this a thumbs up on Letterboxd or liked or something like that. He's been in like think about all the movies he's been in. He's been in like over a hundred movies. Why he's, Samuel Jackson? Yeah, basically, he's been in a movie with Samuel Jackson. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it's it's good to see him just kind of because I don't think there's name another actor. But I mean, we talked already talked about Robert Redford, but like All Is Lost or Ryan Reynolds and Buried, right? Um, and what's your Matt name? Damon in The Martian, Tom Matt Hanks Damon in The Castaway. Martian. But I yeah. feel like even with like Matt Damon in The Martian, it was still like an ensemble cast. But you had him yeah, doing stuff yeah. by himself, but there was other stuff Correct. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. going on outside Cast of the Castaway's more universe. Tom Hanks by himself, and yeah. Barrett is all Ryan Reynolds. So yeah, yeah. I, I, w- I would lean more toward those in The Martian. But yeah. it's a, the, the isolated, a by yourself kind of thing. That's why I didn't like the surreal stuff all, all, all that much because it kind of took away the pressure of he's by himself. So when he has the dream scene, though I did yeah. like the scene where she can't touch him because he yeah. he needs that touch, but she gets right in his face and almost yeah. touches. I did like that, but everything else, I kind of like, oh, keeping me in the room with him, just him, that's all. I mean. Yeah, it's, it's when you start incorporating, you know, I, but in, for how long the movie was too, with it being like, I, like I said, I think it was an hour and 41 minutes, hour and 50 like minutes. That, yeah. It was damn near two hours of Willem Dafoe because it starts... He gets locked in the in the house like right away. 
Right. Like right off the rip. And he's Maybe trying to do two minutes in his end. Two minutes in. <laughs> you know, and then temperature going up, temperature going down and everything. It's like, I don't know, hallucinations. This movie's, I, mean, I changed my mind. This movie has it all. This movie's got everything. It's got, are, this movie's got everything you want in a movie. Are you going to, is it going to last? Is it going to last forever? Uh, I mean, it is art. It is uh, art. Art. It won't, it won't fade away. Don't, don't, don't have this, uh, this film fade away from, from its existence. I think it's worth checking out just for, of course, for Willem Dafoe being Willem Dafoe and uh, slowly going into mania. You know, you get that classic Defoe, you know, it's uh, classic Defoe. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Yeah, it's just Spider-Man, crazy Green Goblin. Well, <laughs> Godspeed. Well, Godspeed to you guys. I hope you enjoy this this raucous edition of Simply 15. And uh, I'm going to heaven on a hillside. Slide. I'm going to heaven on a hillside. Side by. I'm going to heaven on a hillside.